so we are now heading somewhere important. It's three hours away and um, it's very important this trip because we're going to be shopping for something very important for our house. Yes, and we can't wait to take all of you guys along on this adventure. Let's do this. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Here we are guys. But first we have to introduce Brittany to Don and Kathy. Good morning, Kathy. Good morning. This is our interior designer. Hi. Yes. Morning, Don. Hi. So guys, oh my gosh, it is so hot. We are here in the beautiful Paete Laguna. Yes, so this town is known for its wood carvings and like beautiful craftsmanship um, out of wood, like wood artists. Um, they make statues here. They make all sorts of different items and decor. And we are here to shop for our house. Yes, we need to buy a few things. Um, and so happy to take you along with us. We wanted to come visit this place for a long time. And I'm so happy that we're here visiting Paete now to shop for our house. And guys, we're wearing our special masks, which have artwork by a very famous, famous artist here in the Philippines named Dominic Rubio. And he is from Paete Laguna. Yes, so wanted to wear this in, uh, you know, celebration of him and his awesome work. Oh wow, this is the first place we're going into. Interesting. So it's not even like a legit store, it's someone's house? Huh? The house. Oh, it's your house. Hello, sir. They do paper mache. Oh, paper mache? Interesting. Oh wow, they do paper mache props and like decor. It's amazing. Uh, that's cool. All right, so now we're just talking. This gentleman here in the gray is the wood carving artist. And we just showed him a few pegs from the internet that we've screenshotted as to like decor that we would like for the home. Uh, mostly embellish wooden embellishments that we're adding to the house just to give it a little more character and like like sort of depth and in, in a certain spirit to the house and he's gonna be carving it out of wood guys out of mahogany it's amazing oh my gosh guys look at this guy's work that's beautiful super super nice sir that was awesome so he's showing us his past work that's really cool and it's all crafted by hand. Guys, I totally respect and love and appreciate crafts craftsmanship. In this day and age when things could be like fabricated through machines and like computers, like even more so valuable human-made crafts. Wow, look at those statues. That's St. Michael. Amazing. Really good quality. For wall. Oh, wall art. Beautiful. The Holy Family. Super duper cool, right guys? Every town in this province of Laguna, like here in this area, specializes in a certain craft. So here in Paete, it's like woodworks and stuff like that. In the next town, Lukban, it's um, Barong Tagalogs, the male, you know, the weaving of the pineapple fibers to make the male Filipino cultural garb. In the next town over, Liliu, they make chinelas, they make slippers, right? So it's really interesting um, that all of these towns have their own like specialization. And so we just need to go around and do our shopping, look for artists and uh, show them what we have for ideas. And yeah, just kind of like uh, contract them to do work for us. That would be awesome. And then plus we support local business, which is really great. Wow, look at this guys. Incredible, all handcrafted, beautiful. I had one of those growing up. So all of those things, the Last Supper carvings, came from this town. And almost all the Santo Ninos also. All the Santo Ninos almost? Wow guys, did you know that? And there are a lot of these. Like every Filipino house has one in Canada. 
and like US. So cool. Love it so much. I wonder how long it takes to carve one of these things. Awesome. Freshly carved? Freshly carved? Yes. Oh, it's not even like varnished. Oh, wow. It really is wood, guys. I mean, not that I doubt it. It was, but wow. Unbelievable. Guys, this is a palm tree. A Pomeranian Chihuahua. Hi there. You're so cute. You're just so cute. She probably smells Britney. Wow, there are just so many stores of all of these like handcrafted statues and figurines and house decor. There is so much. Look at this. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, guys, we're going to see this place now. Oh, cool. Like candle holders really beautiful wow these candle holders are unbelievable so we are getting several pieces that are this long look how long look at how long of a wood carving we need guys it's like over nine feet long I'm not gonna tell you where it's gonna go you guys will just see it in the final reveal but this is how big we need several of pieces this large and i think it's gonna look fantastic how do you like this place rj so nice here it reminds me of vietnam it does it's got a sort of similar feeling as vietnam but it's pinoy what feels like vietnam but i'm like the craftsmanship um the houses the houses I mean, generally, when you travel around Southeast Asia, there's just something. There's this, this certain something that feels Southeast Asian. The road is narrow. Roads are narrow, yeah. It's, I don't know, hard to explain. All right, guys, we're taking a tricycle. This out oh, buggy attached to a motorcycle. Awesome. All right. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Oh, a carabao, Asian water buffalo being transported. Oh, so cute. Oh, I want one too. All right, guys, we're here to eat lunch. How awesome. Oh my gosh, there's a fish tank. How cute. Hi, hi, Ate, why are you laughing? What's so funny? Yes, we'll take pictures later. Guys, we have Mabuhai squad down there, but oh my gosh, wow, Oscars. Baby Oscars. We got goldfish. Oh, cute. Oh, and they have Vera fighting fish in these bowls. They do need a bit bigger of an aquarium, but cute. Guys, look at lunch. The presentation here is amazing. This is blue marlin, and there's like pickled um, radish or pickled onions and stuff. Mmm, yum. Oh my gosh, guys. Mmm, this food looks so good. Look. Mmm. Oh, the blue marlin. Look at that. It's like white. Open, open, open. Mmm. Mm. Mm. So good. You want some bread? I wonder if Brittany's a lot to have. Blue I think she is. Oh. Wow. Seafood bihon. Um, it's pancet. It's noodles. And seafood kare kare. Wow. A seafood stew that's peanut butter based sauce. Guys, this marlin, I think it's the best marlin I've ever tasted. Oh? Yeah. <laughs> Super good. Guys, this is five Mabuhai stars. Guys, we are wondering who the chef is because it, it is so good. Right? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, guys. Super good. It's blowing my mind. Guys, this kare kare is so yummy. It is a uh, witch's house. Guys, peanut butter sauce, vegetable stew. Mm. 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 The kare kare here is five Mabuhai stars too. Guys, I'd like you to meet the chef. Hi, chef. Yes. <laughs> Super sarap. Thank you, Bob. All right, guys. 
So guys, if you are ever here in Payate, thank you chef. If you're ever here in Payate and the, the staff is so friendly and beautiful, you must come here. The place is called Mucho's House. And there's a bird nest in there. How awesome, it's lucky. There you go guys, awesome. Oh wow guys, so you won't believe this. I just learned, wow, that they make their paper mache using rice. 12 hours na bababad. Soak it for 12 hours. They soak the rice for 12 hours. It grinds it up in the machine. Oh my, wow. And that is what causes the hardening adhesive. Wow guys, look at it. So that's, re it's rice. There are no chemicals. Oh, and when it's ground up in the machine, it comes out as a paste. Oh, yeah. wow. It will be, it will be cooked. It's gonna be cooked. Like that. Oh, they cook it. And that's what makes it sticky. And then you get hard, like literally it's like hardens into like almost like a thin wood. Wow, I didn't know that. Like no chemicals guys. It's literally just paper and this like soaked, boiled, cooked rice liquid stuff. Unbelievable. So when they've created this out of paper, then they put the dark paper over it like that. And that's what gives it that final finish and look. Easter egg. Oh, interesting. Amazing. So it looks like they're working on a project for Easter. I guess they were commissioned for some kind of big event or they're going to be selling these for the Easter season, which is coming up. Oh, wow. What an interesting art form. Right, guys? Like, I just assumed it was plaster of Paris and, and like paper. But it's not like chemical free, it's all rice and water. What a cool thing. Wow, guys, look, this is where they're carving the stuff. Awesome. They literally use a chisel. Awesome. Sweet. That is incredible. Very skillful. And like, it literally starts with a big piece of wood like this, guys. Unbelievable, no? Yeah, very cool. See, they've got all of these slabs of wood here to work with. And I, I'm mind blown by all of this. Oh my. When they're like finished the rough work, this is apparently the final stage, the finishing work. So they like sand it, they polish it, they like stain it, varnish. Oh, so beautiful. Look at that, guys. It's just. Unreal. Good girl. Good girl. Good yeah. Girl. yeah, she peed on the puppy pad. Good girl. Good girl. Good yeah. Girl. Good girl. Yes. Go. Good, girl. Good girl. Awesome. Yes. Successfully using the puppy pad. Um, that's also another reason why we wanted to bring her today instead of like keeping her in her pen um, at home. Which, by the way, she can escape. We need to buy a taller fence for the pen. Um, is because we wanted to make sure in this first week and a half like these first 10 days guys of when you get your puppy Super important to make sure they pee on the puppy pad and make no mistakes like you really got to set them up for success um, Because if they make a mistake mm, The more they do it the more they realize hey It's okay for me to pee and poo in the wrong place and you know, it's it, it's hard for them to get and with these Sholos because, um, as you saw in yesterday's vlog, because they're so primitive, like they're still a very primitive dog, housebreaking tends to be a bit more challenging for these Sholo dogs. So, yay, we're so proud of you, Brittany. Good job. Got a reward with positive, positive reinforcement. All right, guys, she just had her next round of shots. We quickly stopped by the vet's place. That's also why we needed to bring her along. Um, that's cool. Great. She didn't cry. So brave. What's up, Mabu High Squad? How are you doing? Did you just sleep well? Guys, here at the Mabu High Squad farmhouse, and you guys won't believe what I just saw. Come look. <laughs> 